wait is over. Something's coming. Hello and welcome back to another Coaster Time video. Today we are going to be reviewing, uh, not reviewing, we are going to be analyzing Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is a new roller coaster coming to Busch Gardens, Tampa. I think, I'm not sure whether it's Tampa or Williamsburg, I'm pretty sure it's Tampa. But it is the, it is going to be the, the North America's tallest, the world's fastest, and the world's steepest hybrid coaster. Uh, I don't really care about like hybrid coaster records. I think if you're not like a world record, it doesn't really count that much. Like I do not care that Steel Curtain is the most inverting roller coaster in America. Because if you're just excluding everything else, then like a bunch of coasters would have world records. But let's get on to the analysis. Okay, so full credit to this POV goes to Air Boss. And now this prelib section is the only part we don't know about, like, if it's actually going to be there. The rest is an exact recreation, but most RNCs have a prelib section, so we're just assuming that this one will, too. And this does have a lift tail, not a launch like Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod had a lot of problems, so. Yeah, this one had a lift tail, and the video is showing that this has a lift tail. I'm really excited for this. I'm probably not going to get to ride it, but I really hope that I get to ride it uh, soon because it looks amazing. I never got to ride the original Gwazi. If you don't know, this is an RMC conversion of Gwazi. And here we go. North America's tallest, world's steepest drop on a hybrid coaster. It's the tallest by one, one foot and the steepest by... What, one degree? What? That? That's kind of stupid. <laughs> it's kind of really stupid. Okay, so after that drop, you're gonna go up into a wave turn, and then you turn, and then you turn out of it, and then you go back down up into another wave turn, and you pass through into the first inversion, which is under the lift hill. That first inversion, uh, I don't know what inversion it is, but it looks like a pretty cool inversion. I... If I ever get to ride this, I can't wait to experience it. It's kind of like the Zero G stall uh, underneath uh, the lift hill of uh, of another arm of Goliath, but um, but this one is not taking up the entire thing. Then after that, you go down and you go into another wave turn that looks beyond 90 degrees. You go down, and I don't know if that'll provide twisted airtime or what. That'll be another airtime hill. Again, I don't know if that'll provide this airtime or not. And then you go into the second inversion. And then you go into some more airtime hills. Another overbank turn. Another overbank turn. There's a lot of overbank turns on the side. You go into what looks like a half helix, a airtime hill, and you pop up into the brake run. You'll probably get some airtime in the brake run. This ride, though, has three inversions which is the normal amount of inversions on RMCs. If you look at RMC conversions, um, most of them have three inversions. Uh, I don't have any examples, but a lot do have three inversions, so that's not a surprise to anybody. But that 91 degree drop, I still can't get over that this is a wooden coaster and it has a beyond vertical drop. That is just absolutely crazy. This does beat a lot of steel vendors and seconds by one, but I mean, still, it's beating a record. And with angle of descent, 90 degrees, okay, but 91 degrees is a beyond vertical drop. Even though you probably won't know, a diff know the difference. There's a difference of like a 100 degree drop and a 90 degree drop, but not with a 90 and a 91 degree. Drop, so you'll barely notice that. But overall, this looks like an amazing ride. Uh, I'm kind of sad that it's not dueling because, um, 
because it was the Colossus that was a dueling wooden coaster, and it got converted into a dueling RMC. It was the only dueling, dueling RMC. It still is the only dueling RMC, and, you know, I'm kind of sad that they didn't do that. Also, they're going for a crocodile theme, which doesn't make sense because a Gwazi is a mix between a lion and I think a tiger, I'm not sure. So to have it be um, a um, a crocodile, that's kind of weird. I can't tell if it's a crocodile or alligator. I know that if it's like an alligator and I say crocodile, a bunch of people will be like, oh, you're saying it wrong, it's alligator, it's not a crocodile. Uh. So I don't really know. But this looks like an amazing ride. Shout out to FYE Coasters, who is where I got the promotion video that they had. I got that from him, so shout out to him. And this is the end of the video. Also, I really need an intro. So make me an intro and put hashtag new improved intro. I didn't have an old one, I just thought of that on the spot. So just put that in the description and I will try and find one that works. I'll try and find one that I like. I want a unique one to so know like coast animation of the coaster and no like montage of coasters that kind of leaves not a lot. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!